Hi everyone, what's up? Today I'm going to show you an example of a line integral. This will be a very simple example. So basically we have this vector field and the curve that we are interested in is going to be the unit circle, okay? Uh, so let's do it. I'm going to do it in blue because my black is dying, so I'll use blue. So let's do it. Yeah, so we know that along the unit circle we're going to have a line integral. We're going to put the, the circle through it just to tell us that this is a closed uh, curve. Now, there are many things you can do with closed curves. You can see if you have a conservative vector field, if you have a gradient field, and then you know it's zero based on the fundamental theorem for line integrals. You know that if the, the, the line integral of a, of a conservative vector field will be zero on a closed surface, or on a closed curve, of course. So let's do it. Uh, we have f dot dr and now I will solve this by just rewriting everything, just parametrizing the curve. So uh, we know that dr can be written like dx dy, okay? Now we know that x, uh, well, this is a circle, so it would be very simple to parametrize it with respect to an angle theta. So let's say we have this, this will be theta, and this is r, the position vector. So then let's say, x will be simply cosine theta and y would be sine theta, okay? And then it follows that dx is going to be equal to minus sine theta uh, d theta and then dy is going to be equal to cosine theta d theta and then it follows that dr we can just simply substitute these, these values into this equation. We're going to have that dx then is going to be minus sine theta cosine theta d theta out here, okay? So this is dr. And this is great because we could easily rewrite f like this. So this will be uh, closed line integral. And then f is going to be minus y hat minus y, sorry, minus y j hat. So then this will be zero and f, well, that's just gonna be minus y, which is minus sine. So then minus sine theta dot dr, which is this, minus sine theta cosine theta. I'll close this, d theta, okay? And this is what we have. Uh, and now we just simply need to solve it. We can just simply solve this as we would normally solve an integral. So now we need to know what are the bounds for theta. Well, we know it's going to start, let's say, like this, and that is going to be theta equals zero, and it's going to end up, well, it's going to sweep around an entire, it's going to make an entire circle, and that is just going to be 2 pi. So from zero to 2 pi. So this is equal to a normal definite integral from, of zero from zero to 2 pi of uh, this and this equals zero. And then we have minus sine theta cosine theta. Oh, I missed the S. Cosine theta d theta. Great. Uh, so this is what we have. And then we just need to integrate. This is very easy to integrate using u substitution. Uh, we could say, uh, I'm gonna, separate this. Uh, let's say u is going to be equal to, uh, we could definitely do u equals cosine theta, and then we have that du is going to be equal to minus sine theta d theta, and then this integral becomes um, cosine theta, I'm, I'm going to change the bounds right away, cosine theta if I leave it at zero that will be one, and then cosine theta <clears throat> and cosine of two pi, well, it's also gonna be equal to one. So then it doesn't really matter what we have on the integrand. We know this will be equal to zero, but I'm just gonna write out the entire thing. Uh, these are the new bounds uh, using this transformation. Uh, so then, yes, I'm just gonna say this is equal to u du, u du, so u equals cosine theta and then du equals the rest but this turns out to be equal to zero, which is great. And this is something you could definitely expect. This vector field, if you look, if you plot it, you're gonna see that all the arrows go down in the upper quadrants, 
and all the arrows, all the vectors go up in the lower quadrants. And this should give you, this should really tell you that along the entire curve, the effect that, or let's, I'm, I'm gonna put it in terms of physics, because I like physics, and because it's kind of useful. Uh, let's say the work done along this entire curve, well, it's gonna cancel out uh, the upper, let's say the work done in the upper part of the circle is going to cancel out with the work done in the bottom part, okay? So then, because the bottom, each part, each top and bottom part is gonna be a mirror of the other, sort of, so then they're gonna cancel out. The effect of the vector field above the line y equals zero and below that line, well, it's gonna be the same, but with a different sign, because the arrows, uh, the vector field goes in opposite directions. So then, well, it's, you're, you're gonna get a net work of zero, basically, if you wanna put it in terms of physics. Uh, which also makes sense, because, well, we kind of had a closed curve, so maybe you could see it coming. Um, but yeah, this is nice. This is a simple example of how to do a line integral, okay? Hopefully you enjoyed it and you learned something. See ya.